वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम 2.34 सो इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज गिवन दैट द लेंथ ऑफ असेंबली शोन डिक्रीजेस बाय 0.40 सो हियर गिवन इन गिवन डेटा दिस डिफॉर्मेशन इज इक्वल टू 0.40 मिलीमीटर व्हेन एन एक्सियल फोर्स इज अप्लाइड बाय मीन ऑफ रिजिड एंड प्लेट डिटरमाइन द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ वी हैव टू फाइंड we have to find the magnitude of applied force p here in this we have to find p and the corresponding stress in brass core so here this p load is applied to this assembly and due to this load the deformations comes to uh, decreases to 0.40 it means that this load is compressive one now clear and you have to find this so again the solution of problem 2.34 will be uh, will be somewhat equal to problem 2.33 that's why i'm not going to write it again all the data are given over here except this one so we have to neglect this because this was for problem 2.33 all the length uh, modulus of elasticity and outer diameters were given so due as we know that this p load is applied on this assembly so portion of axial force carried by uh, shell is equal to pa and the portion of load carried by this brass core is pb so due to this load uh, pa there uh, definitely there will be a deformation which is delta and that will be equal to same for both so this deformation is equal to pa into l divided by ea into aa and that is for shell so from here we can get this pa which is the load taken by the shell and that is equal to ea aa into delta divided by l so this one for core we know that this de de deformation is equal to pb into l divided by eb into ab so from here you can get this load taken by core now we know that this external load is equal to the load taken by uh, shell uh, plus load taken by the core so there some must be equal to applied load so you have to put the value of pa so this is the value of pa plus this is the value of pb you can see from here and here so when you put you will get this equation now we in this equation we have ea we have aa we have eb ab delta and l either you can put all the values and can get this applied load p r for uh, you have to find aa so a area of aluminium shell is equal to pi by 4 into this i have explained in problem 2.33 an area of brass core is this one so when you put in this above formula in this formula p is equal to this so you at 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 last you will get p is equal to i will write it over here p is equal to 215.10 into 10 to the power 6 multiply by change in length divided by l so now we can put the value we have p is equal to 215.10 into 10 to the power 6 this ch change in length is 0.40 clear so 40 divided by original length is 300 mm so you can put it this so you will get p is equal to 286.8 into 10 to the power 3 newton or p is equal to 287 kilo newton okay now this was part a in part b it was been asked it it has been asked to find the stress in brass so we know that stress in brass is equal to load taken by brass divided by area of brass or we can see that uh, and this is equal to strain into modulus of elasticity of brass okay and this sigma b is equal as strain is equal to change in length divided by original length into eb clear so change in length is 0.40 into 
10 raised to power minus 3 in in term of meter because we are going to find the stress which is in pascal newton per meter so we have to convert millimeter into meter and the length was 300 millimeter so 300 into 10 raised to power minus 3 into e of b e of b is 105 giga pascal so when you calculate this you will get stress in brass is equal to 140 into 10 raised to power 6 pascal our stress in brass is equal to 140 mega pascal so this is the answer i hope you have a clear idea or clear picture about problem 2.33 both 2.33 and 2.34 uh, are interrelated because the data is same only uh, some uh, given data and output are required data is changed so that's why i pretend or i prefer to not solve it it again and uh, by uh, by seeing this solution of 2.33 i should continue Thank you for watching.